I am the owner of this land and I bought it from the landowners of the area. I bought it in around 2000. Our first negotiation started in 2000 and we concluded in 2001. And by 2002, uh, I was able to get all the documents necessary for me to to start working. My choice was to show the value of this land so I can exercise all the agriculture. We have a large space. With the help of a company, I had people come to help me make a tracing of the whole area. As of right now, I have about 7,100 acres. Of course, we can add value to it. On one side, I added value with the culture of cassava. And on the other side, uh, I have done livestock in terms of uh, cows and etc. The main goal is to make a agro-industrial complex out of it. As an experiment, we've started this livestock in about 2006, if my memory is correct. And today, with uh, the experience and with all the years that pass, we have about 2,000 animals. From that, we understood that the livestock of Ndamba is for the average person. So what we had to do is to make them cross with another species to be able to commercialize our activity. So to obtain this hybrid race, we mixed the Ndamba with the Zebu. And what we obtained, to my opinion, is very different from the Ndamba by his masses on all level anyway. As of now we have five bovine parks. Today what we did we separate each cattle by parks. As of right now we have five bovine parks what we did is that we separate each cattle units by parts. We haven't got a chance to visit everything. So far, we only visited it two. So amongst all the different parks, what we do, we establish a program. Let's say, for example, today we visited Park A, tomorrow it's Park B, and, and so on. Since we can do the livestock of all of them together what we do we separate them into parks and therefore we can follow them precisely amongst us we have vets with some knowledge and these vets can easily inject anything that the animals need to for their health For me, bovine livestock is one of the most difficult. And in itself, it is very fragile. We started a long time ago, and when we started, we were lacking a lot of things. We've tried many things, and it wasn't going through. And at some point, we even try some uh, nearby villages. We tried the technique of the nearby villages, and it still wasn't going. And at this point, we understood that uh, it was going to be. And at this point, we understood that it was not going to be easy. But what we did, we relaunched bovine livestock, and we did it so to avoid to stay behind. I thought it didn't work the first time, but it's okay. Let's just keep on trying. And finally, what we understood is that all the animals started to feel comfortable with the climate. So my sheep are well trained. They're not aggressive. 
and they do not go out of control like uh, let's say for the Our ancestors lived in this village. They were all farmers. So when we came back to this village, what we wanted to do was to respect all the morals of our ancestors. We wanted to make sure that we bring life back into the village. Our wish was to reinsert this village by being farmers, just like our ancestors with the aim of making this village an agricultural village with a business plan. Here we are neither a political or an administration land, we are a land of agriculture. And this is what we do here, we do agriculture. So the daily life here in Hambu is agriculture. Everything we talk about here is only evolve around agriculture. We have about 15 families here who reside here in Ambu and they all have agriculture as an activity. You have all types of workers here. You have the one who handles the machines. You have the mechanics. You have drivers here. Since we do the production, we need an area where to stock all of our production. We do livestock, so we need an area also where we are going to stock all the pharmaceutical products for the animals. We have space only for the machines. We do have a warehouse where we stock everything. And all this is really a proud to us because it was made out of our own money, uh, out of the hard earned money. It is our corn production who finance all this activity. You can see the roof is in metal and everything is made out of concrete. And it is about 30 meter long. So after the experiment with cassava, soja, and corn, so far we limit ourselves to this uh, production. Cassava is our identity. It is all together that we make cassava. We have uh, many different recipes for cassava but now we have more and more people asking for the cassava roots people come from Bunji or Wando and they come here to buy the cassava roots from us the second element is the corn it is impossible to do livestock without corn or soja the second element is corn. It is impossible to do livestock without corn or soy. Especially for the corn, corn represents in itself 70% of the food that we give to the animals. So we produce to sell because we have a lot of bills to pay. So as of today, when I produce my corn, I know who is going to buy it for me. I know how I'm going to do to sell it. And of course, I use some for myself, for my own animals, which is a big thing. One of our major problems is the roads. Yourself, you took that road with us. I'm not going to make too much comment about it, but it is what it is. We can barely make our way through that road. I have two spaces 
and the agriculture that I do, I have two space and in my agriculture I use machines. I have two different space and in the agriculture I do, I use the machines. It is agricultural mechanization program. It is an agricultural mechanization program. The tractor I use today is about 10 years old. Because you cannot buy a tractor when you only have 10 acres. You cannot. I even wrote about it. You cannot buy a tractor when you only have 10 acres because a tractor makes about 4 hectares per day, 4 3. We do have machines that remove each grain from the corn. It is the same for the soy and for the beans. Each machine can get about one ton of grain per hour. I have written a kit on agricultural mechanization. To me, this guide was not for sale. It was just so I can help people who want to do it, just so I can share my experience. I have hired many people who come here. When they come, I give them a test and then I hire them. Just by looking at the investment we made, you can tell that we are not playing around. We're not here just as tourists. We're not playing. 